Howdy guys, in today's video of Vinyl Card, we'll be looking at the Bridge Warp 2. Uh, let's have a quick intro here. Yeah? So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. Uh, we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and we upload videos daily, so keep an eye there for any new content. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. Now, to locate the bridge warp, you can select your text by either clicking on it with your selection tool or dragging a selection box over it. But make sure it goes over all the borders, otherwise it will not select the shape as you can see. So with the um, text or shape selected, we want to go to effects here, select it, and then go down till you find bridge warp. Now, when we select this, we'll have a a few different options make sure first of all auto preview is enabled so you can see live updates as you make them then uh, on top here we've got the straight warp if we enable this it will turn the warp from a curve into a straight and in many ways this is very similar to the warp tool if you're only using the top and bottom settings but uh, this one is more specialized so um, we'll have a look at it quick so then uh, let's start with the top offset so if we increase this as you can see, it, uh, it brings us a, a nice warp. And then also most of these values can go to the negative. So if you want to warp it to the inside. But for now, let's just warp this one to the top so we can see the um, straight warp. So now if we select this, you will see it turns it into a sharp edge. So if you're going for a specific effect, it is good. Then also we have the sync offset. If you select this, then it will warp a bit like the um, warp tool where it warps both of them in the same direction. So if we go to the negative and the straight, and then yeah. So, but we'll leave that off for now. Let's just bring the top up. And then we've got here the um, scale width and scale height. So now if we adjust this, you can see we can. Um, stretch it out to the sides of it because sometimes when you increase this amount the text can become um, rather hard to read and then it's a good time to then uh so let's say i'm just gonna make this to the negative but sometimes you get um this type of effect where it everything is just too cramped on each other so then what you can use you use a scale width and you just drag it out to give it a bit more breathing room and now um, the same with the scale height you can scale the overall height of the text with that effect applied. Then uh, you, when you're done, you just click OK. And it will apply the settings to you. It does take a bit of a while to load on this effect, but no problems. And yeah, then you have your warp tool, uh, your bridge warp tool effect um, added. But uh, just keep in mind that once you do make this change, the, if you were working with text, it will no longer be able to edit it or it break into individual shapes every letter. So just keep that in mind. So if you have to make a backup of your text before you apply the effect. Otherwise, we go to um, vinylcut.co.za. You guys will, uh, the program is freely available yet. Just go to the downloads page. And then otherwise, if we navigate to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys can find this video and more like it. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. You can also isolate your search on top here if you're looking for anything specific. Otherwise, um, if you don't find what you're looking for, just go here, yeah, request a training video, and then we'll make that for you guys. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.